we here at the Litus Legacy are, are so excited and I'm sure that you guys are just as excited as, as we are. The Abedibensu School is the first of five projects Litus Legacy has I marked and embarked upon in Liberia. After 10 months since our last visit, the team is back in Liberia to check on the progress of the project of the Abedibensu School. We will be meeting a few individuals at the Ministry of Education, Ministry of Finance, UNICEF, and, and, and also the Liberia Business Registry. We will also be meeting with the superintendent of the school system in Monrovia, make a few purchases for the school, and sit and chat with the faculty and staff of the school to convey our vision and plan for the school, and also hear about the challenges um, that they have been facing or the thing that they will be facing well, now that they have a new school on the horizon, hopefully all of that will change. We also will be going to two other locations that we plan to help to get other information that we may have missed on, on the first trip to Liberia. Now, like I said, this is all exciting news and, and we're also excited here at the Leaders Legacy. Why don't you join us and enjoy this excitement with us? Hi there. So, um we finally made it to Brussels after a flight getting canceled like three or four times with um, Air Maroc. Um, they didn't even give us any notices or email or anything. Um, we went to New York and was supposed to be flying out of New York and then we're told that we could not fly between two um, Schengen countries, two European countries. So we ended up going to, to New Jersey um, and spending the night and left on Sunday, um, Sunday evening. So right now it's Monday afternoon in Brussels and we're headed to Monrovia now. Um, hopefully by seven o'clock this evening, we will be in Monrovia to finally start our mission. So we finally made it back to Liberia and back. This is the principal who fled with us to come and help her and we're back and she's excited to see me as you can see her face. Hi. <laughs> Thank you for coming. <laughs> Um, but we're here at the Abed Benson School today um, here to come and see the development of um, what's going on. Um, the guys are now on the, the second floor. They're doing the construction of the second floor now. These are all the beams that they've put in place to, to do the, uh, the second floor. I'm going to go up stairs so you can see. Everybody's working and keeping busy. Again, we're at the Abitabensi School. Here, following it up on the on the progress of the construction. Yeah. So this is the cafeteria. Within the cafeteria, we have the kitchen. This is the kitchen. This is the kitchen for the, for the cafeteria. And at the back of the cafeteria, you have the, the restroom for both girls and boys. So yeah, for the first model. So this is the guest session. Three rooms. That's one, two, three. 
Uh, we have the the fifth basin on the wall here. Yeah. On the wall, yeah. yeah. At this end, we have the boys. This is what this is the boys' session. The same thing to the rooms. When do you think um, this project will be completely done? Because that's a question everybody's asking for how fast you guys are going. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm looking at a second week in December. In December? Yes. Okay. The completion of the two, the two buildings. Okay. Yeah. The second week in December. So everything will be done, painted, fixtures, everything will be sure. put in place. Sure. All right? Yeah. Okay. I'm so excited that. I cannot even express it in words. So I just want to continue to say thank you to Elida Lekose and her partners for helping us to be able to get a new school building. We show that this building will be able to serve the intended purpose because our children are our future. And if they are given the opportunity to have a better place or environment for learning, I'm sure that things will be better. So I want to say thanks to Elita Legacy and all of our partners for helping us tirelessly. And I pray that they continue to do so as we go forward in this endeavor. Before we got to Liberia, we requested that we wanted to have a meeting with the faculty and staff members of the school so that we could be um, transparent and have some sort of communication with them um, since um, integrity transparency and, and open communication was something that we were planning to 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 put in that school and have as um, some of the the, the school's um, core value um, we were able to talk to the staff doing, members sorry for keeping you waiting uh, we had well i think a little um have them all be on the same page and understand what we were doing and what our plans um, were for the school after it was built. Unfortunately, when I started, my microphone uh, went um, dead for some for some weird reason. I don't know what happened, but uh, we all, um, after the meeting, I think um, the, the members of the staff um, and faculty all were very very appreciative and very very excited um, of what we were doing because um, there had been rumors going around that we were coming to take the school building from them or take the school from them and um, basically kick everybody out but um, i think i i kind of um, brought that to rest when i told them that we were there for them and we were we were only there to help um, put that school on another level and um, help put more money in their pockets and help um, give the, 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 the children the education that, that, that they deserve. So after the meeting, um, I know that the, the faculty and staff members were all very, very gracious and very, very excited for the new development at this school. And all of those rumors were, were basically put to rest. So we got here today and um, saw a stop order um, by the Ministry of Public Works. They, 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 they're saying that the fence is, I think, in the alleyway or something like that. But uh, we're on our way to the Ministry of Public Works now to speak with the, the issuing director, the director that issued the citations. So we're going to be headed there now to go and speak with them. I'm sure they're not going to allow cameras in, in the offices, but... Um, we're, we're going to be headed there now. Um, I think from what we've been hearing, there are a few people in the community who are against the development and the new school. But the majority of the people here are for the school and want this new school to come to help these kids. 
you always find knuckleheads in a in a in a in a in a community who <laughs> would be who would be uh, resisting development and, 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 and good things that are coming. So I think it's just normal.